you for coming to this event. We're very excited to have our partners, the Junior League of Jackson, being here to present the winners of their grants for this year. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, guests and Power APAC faculty, staff, and students. We would like to thank Jackson Public Schools Superintendent Eric Green, Partners in Education Director Thea Faulkner, Junior League Jackson President Lakeisha Greer Isaac, members of the Junior League of Jackson family and friends for being here with us today. We are excited to host this announcement event. Thank you again and enjoy the program. We do some things a little differently here at Power APAC. And one thing that we do that I think the kids really enjoy, we have a Monday morning motivation. We start our week off with a roll call where each homeroom has a class chant or cheer that they do. And then we also give out all of our weekly awards, students of the week. We have trophies that go to certain classes for things that they've done in the building. We have a college spotlight or a motivational video and they leave with a challenge that we give them for the week and they earn class points for that. So we'd like to give you an opportunity to kind of step into our Monday mornings. And so we're gonna do roll call if you'll allow us to.
and John and Miles and Trinity, when I grow up, I want to be like you. For real. When I grow up, I want to be like you. Did you all watch the poise that they showed when they came up to the stage and when they came up to the mic or to the piano? D did you see that? that? That doesn't just happen. And so thank you, young people, for sharing your gifts with us, for joining us here on the stage as leaders in the school, but also thank you to the educators, specifically Ms. Davis, but to all of the educators, Mr. Shoemaker, for all that you do to instill not only those gifts and, and those talents, but the poise and confidence that the arts help to engender and foster. I love the arts, and I know what it's meant to me as an individual, let alone as an educator. And so just thank you to all of you, all of you who care enough about the arts, about arts-infused education, about our young people and what they need and what they could do with just a little bit of support from us. I am so, so excited to spend a little time with you, celebrating you young people, for sure celebrating all of the educators here at Power APAC and throughout the city. Um, lots of great ideas, lots of ingenuity and creativity. Uh, that's truly at the center of this event. Thank you so much to the Junior League of Jackson, to, to you and to the Community Foundation, all the support that you've given over the years and the support that you continue to give to Jackson Public Schools. Uh, I'm just really, really uh, honored to be amongst the educators that you think so highly of and support in such a real, authentic way that you've created uh, a grant uh, opportunity for our educators to bring their great ideas to the floor. To dream of some really cool, innovative things to do in the classrooms that will be different from the norm. Things that would be experiences that our young people wouldn't otherwise have. And we appreciate the way in which you engage with us as true partners, understanding that no one person has all of the answers that we together Bring the smart people, I say it all the time to our team, you bring the smart people to the table and the smart people will figure it out. All of the team members, all of our teachers, parents, students, um, our community members, our, our partners, just thank you for that. It's not something that we can do here in Jackson Public Schools on our own, we know that. We know that deep down in our bones and so thank you for riding along with us and being a part of what, what works and, and what will serve our young people the best. I love you young folks. I truly do. I love you. I love all that you stand for and all that you've done and all that you will do in the world to achieve globally, to contribute locally, and to be fully fulfilled as individuals. Thank you. So I'm standing on the stage right now by myself, but I am representing 2,400 women who are members of our organization. And so those 2,400 women send their love to you today. And we know that you all today have lived out the words of your student pledge. You have done things that have made yourselves proud, and we are most certainly proud of you. You guys have done an amazing job. We focus on improving the high school graduation rate. We want every single one of you that are in this room to continue doing what you're doing and to graduate from high school and to go on and do wonderful things. We're your neighbor just down the street. You pass us every day on your school buses. And what we're doing inside that little building where we are is thinking and making plans about what we can do to help you, to help our students succeed. We know that our school system is doing a wonderful job with you guys. They are doing great, and our state has provided budgeting for that. But we also know that there are some wonderful things that our teachers would like like to do that don't necessarily fall within the budget each year. The Junior League of Jackson wants to fill those gaps and be there for you and provide uh, support in ways that may be things that aren't necessarily budgeted. And so one of the ways we do that is through this grants program. So we have been doing this program since 1990. And since that time, the Junior League in partnership with Community Foundation has given over $1 million to Jackson Public Schools through this grants program. 
and we want to continue that today. So today we have a grand total of 103,544 dollars to Jackson Public Schools in our mini grants program. So thank you guys for allowing us to do this. And in addition to that, you guys see this lovely, what we call pile of pants there. These are uniform pants. And our members are today donating 1,004 pair of uniform pants to Jackson Public Schools in support of our students. Would our Junior League members that are present please stand? So these ladies donate 50,000 hours a year of community service and raise $1.2 million a year, of which 800,000 of that goes right back into the community, and this is a part of it. We would not be able to do any of this without the work of our volunteers. Thank you, Dr. Green, Ms. Faulkner, Mr. Shoemaker, and everyone here truly for allowing us the opportunity to be of service. It's our pleasure. Words just cannot adequately convey uh, the depth of admiration and appreciation uh, that I have for the ladies of Junior League of Jackson. You all do amazing work, but I want to acknowledge Dr. Melissa McCoy. <laughs> Melissa is the chairperson of the Mini Grants Project. Thank you. These ladies have lives, commitments, careers, children, and families but they've decided that their lives would include tangible, methodical, consistent, continual, professionally crafted and planned initiatives that enhance the lives of children and families in the greater Jackson areas. These ladies do so in true partnership, assessing the needs, providing resources for individuals and organizations to empower themselves to be their own change agents. And for that, I'm internally grateful. These ladies work hard to pull resources together to bring visions, ideas, and concepts to fruition. So when we offered a grant workshop last year to our educators last fall, this was what we shared. Don't stress about the term grant writing, because that term can be intimidating to people. Grant writing, automatically you get a little nervous. So we just said, you know what, Junior League of Jackson is saying, tell us your ideas and we'll give you the resources to make it happen. So we're here today to celebrate one of the many partnerships with Junior League, because when I tell you, these ladies work consistently with us all year. There is not one area of Jackson Public School community partnerships that you all don't touch. Your book buddies, your adopters, your specialty partners, uh, you provide field trip opportunities, you provide one-on-one -on -one supports. Because of you ladies, our scholars will have many exciting educational experiences designed to reach how children learn in 2019. Here at Power APAC alone, our scholars will experience West African dance and drumming master classes with local artists and residents because of Junior League of Jackson. A gaming concept to enhance critical thinking and deeper teaching of concepts while providing hands-on learning experiences because of Junior League of Jackson. And then there's a STEAM program that celebrates science, technology, engineering, and of course the arts. There's a project called Gizmos and Gadgets designed to enable engineering and robotic activities, making robots and kinetic sculptures, all because Junior League of Jackson said, we'll take time out of our busy schedules and cultivate support for our children. We have gifted, caring, innovative teachers who say, I have an idea, I just need the resources, and Junior League says, I got that. And for that, we thank you so very much. Thank you. We're so happy to have been awarded four grants here at Power APAC that total $22,000 that's gonna impact all of these, plus our middle school and our high school students, that we service here, Power APAC services 495 students throughout the day. Um, if you are an educator here at Power APAC, will you please stand so we can acknowledge you and all of the work that you do for our students every day.
Power APAC is proud to be an A-rated school for the fourth consecutive year. We increased our proficiency in math and reading by 10% each. We are now over 80% proficient in reading and math um, at Power APAC. Our fourth grade reading proficiency last year was number two in the state. Our fourth grade math proficiency was number six in the state. Our fifth grade ELA and math proficiency were both top 20 in the state. Power APAC is the number one performing school in Jackson Public Schools, and we are the number 15 school in the state of Mississippi. I know I didn't do it, but it's all those folks that we had standing and these students who are in, in this room and a yeah. few that are up the hill um, at Bailey. The work has only begun here. We will continue to push ourselves and our students so that we can maintain this level of proficiency and accountability for ourselves and our students so that it becomes commonplace that we are A-rated. It becomes commonplace for our students that are here that they are part of earning those A's.